Well, new at six, the Charlotte Area Fraternal Order of Police is crying foul again over another suspect they say committed a violent crime and got a low bond. Well, this comes on top of several other cases over the past year where suspects had low bond amounts for violent crimes. Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger has a look at those cases and what the court is saying about them. Tyler Drew, Travis Feely. Both were arrested within the last month on separate cases, but both have had what many are considering low bonds. Drew accused of shooting at six CMPD officers, $67,000 bond. Feely accused of intentionally setting fire to someone's home, $31,000 bond. It's almost an injustice in a sense that, you know, these people get a slap on the wrist. Dan Redford is with the Fraternal Order of Police. He says the two cases highlight several that they have dealt with, with people with violent histories being given a chance to get out. We're talking about somebody's life. We're talking about an egregious act, um, some an intentional act. We can't get to a place where we're afraid to uh, lock up uh, people that could hurt you, me, our children. Walter Bowers is an attorney, a former police officer. He says these cases often need to take a lot into account, even if a case is open and shut. If I was talking to the uh, men and women of the uh, Fraternal Order of Police, I would say not to point the finger at one judge or one magistrate, but to point the finger at our system. Mecklenburg County Court says they've been implementing bail reform for several years. Those reforms take away set guidelines and take into account the suspect's overall history. But that program has come under fire. Queen City News told you last year about two cases that involve suspects, both accused in separate violent crimes, that were both given bonds of less than $20,000 each. These more recent cases involve repeat offenders. They are capable of reoffending um, and creating more victims. Redford and even Bowers say that public safety issue needs a larger consideration. In Charlotte, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News. Well, the district attorney for Mecklenburg County has also weighed in on the bond issue and says that there should be some changes to state law. And we've reached out on that with two Mecklenburg County lawmakers for comment, but have yet to hear back.